Joining me right now, former Bush 43 senior advisor Brad Blakeman. Brad, you know, I had Steve Bannon on the show the other night, and I will credit him with this because he said, you know, what's so cool about what's happening right now um, is that you are seeing, you know, the market hit new highs and, mm -hmm. and, and the capital markets flourishing while simultaneously those workers are benefiting too. And these are things that, you know, in some ways, like, you know, look, you can go back to the Koch brothers, right? Or, no, that's just one brother. But, you know, th there was sort of a, an idea, well, don't worry about the workers, you know, they'll kind of come along when they come along, you know, and these are economic transitions that everybody goes through and, you know, they'll be fine. And then you listen to the left and the left was like, like, oh, we hate business. We want to put every single business, you know, we can out of business. Um, and what Donald Trump has found is that there is a, a very happy sweet spot there where everybody's working together in U.S. interests mm -hmm. and everybody benefits. Is that true? Absolutely. Yeah. You bet it's true. And President Trump is putting America back to work. You know, where were the union bosses when uh, Barack Obama told them to get over it? Manufacturing jobs are gone. Uh, Donald Trump says that's nonsense. We're going to bring manufacturing jobs back to America. And he did. Where were the union bosses who were living under NAFTA under Obama? Did they plead that NAFTA be renegotiated? They did not. They were content with the millions of jobs that were leaving uh, our country. Donald Trump said unacceptable. Yet union bosses let Nancy Pelosi jerk around with passing USMCA for a year. That meant it's less than a year. Of, of job losses that is directly attributable to Nancy Pelosi. She retarded the growth that Donald Trump has tried I to don't bring. Get it, and finally, right? because they're, they're supposed it. to be representing their workers, and yet they roll right. over and play dead. It means that they don't care because, you know, they're making so much money, it's like irrelevant to them. They just want to keep everybody as happy as they can, or perhaps simultaneously keep everyone in this victim mode, right? Like, you know, oh, Correct. woe is me. You need Richard Trump or anybody else there to bail you out and help you out. Well, look at look at what Trumpka uh, did about coal. Nothing. Uh, the fact of the matter is, he comes from a third generation of coal miners. Mm -hmm. Yet, when Barack Obama said and Hillary Clinton, we're going to put them out of business, he was content with that. Donald Trump said, unacceptable. We're putting these people back to work. Why? Because it's in America's best interest. So, we're putting America first and workers first. Richard Chumka ought to be uh, pretty great. He should be endorsing Donald Trump is what he should be doing. You know, it's amazing to me, right? Because, again, you, you've got all these workers in middle America, and I, I go back to Battle Creek, Michigan, right? They are there for the president, but the union heads are not. Mm -hmm. Does that change at now, some point? Yep. I, I, oh, absolutely. To, because right? they, have to, they have to see what their members are doing, and Donald Trump is delivering for their membership. Now, they have a knee-jerk reaction, as does others, who, who say, I'm a Democrat, but they can't tell you why. And mm -hmm. then when you tell them all the good that Donald Trump has done for them, uh, it's always something else that he hasn't delivered on. And the reason <laughs> he hasn't is because the Democrats in Congress have blocked him. Wow. Well, um, you know, interesting times. I do predict you're going to see a complete realignment of these parties. This is the kind of stuff that only happens, you know, once every generation, and we are on the front line. Of history. It is good to see you, Brad. Thank you so much. Good to see you. And Merry Christmas.